What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing very well so there's a new event going on at the moment the hero's path and there's some really juicy rewards in here scroll down to the bottom we've got a void shard we've got epic skill tome a legendary skill tome and eternal soul stone all up for grabs really really nice stuff and the way you get points for this event is basically dungeon divers crossed with upgrading artifacts so for let's start with the artifacts so upgrading artifacts if you can upgrade um rank six um artifacts you can almost get a thousand points and you're going to need a lot of points for this event for dungeons um, let's have a look at the dungeons so if you can i would say you'd go for spider um stage 10 some people can farm this in under 40 seconds so if you've got a team that can do it stage 10 hard mode spider is the easiest easiest hard mode dungeon out of all of them it's the fastest it gives you the best gear but also it gives you the most amount of silver as well however player have been really sneaky and they've put on a three time speed event for dragon so it's really difficult it's, it's up to you and um, personally i'm going to be farming speed gear because i do need it from dragon so it's only on for 24 hours so i'm going to be doing dragon first and trying to get as much speed gear as i can and then i'm going to swap back over to spider and get as many, as much you know um gear as i can as much silver as i can and i do need banners you know banners are one of the best you know artifacts in the game as well so i'm going to be doing that as well so just before we do hop over to photoshop and i show you the path that i'm going to be taking i do want to ask if you are new to the channel please do like and subscribe it helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys so let's hop over to photoshop so we are going to sort of work our way down to this false brew past this rarity charm and then we're going to pick up this gem and chicken on the way and the first thing we're going to prioritize is this epic uh, so epic skill tome go across and then pick up this legendary skill tome and you want to do that you want to prioritize the legendary skill time over the void shard legendary skill times they're so hard to come by and we want to be upgrading our legendary champions so that is going to be our first priority and that's going to be twenty three thousand seven hundred points and that's gonna that's a lot of work but it is a nice reward to be fair and then we're going to come across pick up this void shard and that is going to be twenty eight thousand seven hundred points and then we're going to work away a little bit further, pick up another chicken, another skill tome, an epic skill tome, and then down to another legendary skill tome. And that's 45,000, well, 45,200 points. That is a lot, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And I'm probably going to skip the next artifact event just so I can get this legendary skill tome. And if you think about it, usually you're gonna only going to get an epic skill tome for an artifact event. So it's definitely worth to take these legendary skill tomes over that. And then if we can and we've got enough resources, we are going to push this Eternal Soul Stone. And I'm going to choose the barrel over the five star chicken. If you think about it, the chicken's going to help you upgrade a chicken, um, upgrade a chicken, upgrade a champion. Um, so you can you know max them but this is going to save you so many brews i definitely feel like it's be a better choice and then we're going to pick up this soul stone and the f soul stone is eighty four thousand two hundred points which is just insane but if you can get it it's, it's sort of worth it and it isn't because it's a bit of a gamble so this this one will only upgrade of epic or legendary champion and it will give you a five to six star awakening so red star the problem with this is first of all you want it to be a legendary champion so first of all it needs to go there but then also it needs to be a champion that you actually own and then it needs to be a champion that you actually want to upgrade so it is a bit of a gamble but i'm gonna go for it and i do feel like it's kind of worth it especially over the other stuff if you can't um get this turn of soul stone and you do get those legendary books and then you start to you know get some other stuff over it then the things i'd next prioritize are these coins the soul coins they're sort of useful and again it's all about being able to awaken your champion so i definitely prioritize that um but yeah that's that's how i'm gonna do it i hope this helps some of you guys 
And if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.